friends, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to Miss Lucille's in Clarksville, Tennessee. They have antiques, thrift items, and more, the sign says. It was around lunchtime when we got there, so the first thing we did was went to the cafe that they have, and it was my best friend's birthday. We were celebrating by doing a little shopping and having lunch. I picked her up one of these salted caramel cookies for her birthday as a little treat. She's a big fan of salted caramel, so I knew she would like it. They had a great selection of items. Here's a little peek at the menu if you ever stop by there. We each chose to get one of their bowls. Um, my friend got the yummy yummy bowl and I chose the cranberry chicken and rice bowl which had herbed rice, rotisserie chicken, cranberry, celery, onion, fresh rosemary, and chicken broth. It was very tasty. I would definitely choose it again. Let's see yours. I like these bowls. I know, they're pretty. It looks good. It does look good. Try it. it. Let's see how it is. Get some of the rice. You gotta get a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's good. Oh my god. <laughs> is it good? That is so good. This is so good too. Probably recommend Miss Lucille's Cafe. <laughs> Miss Lucille's Cafe. Oh yeah. This is yummy. We thoroughly enjoyed our lunch and they also have a little coffee shop right outside of the cafe if you want to just have a little quick dose of your caffeine for the day. I'm going to grab a buggy. That first one didn't roll properly so I had to get another one. And I want to apologize in advance for the quality of this video. I went, I had my camera with me and got there and didn't have my memory card in it. I'm notorious for doing that. I don't know why. And then I dropped my cell phone in the parking lot and cracked it. So I'm going to have to get a new phone because it's not working properly. It wasn't recording properly. It's just pretty sad because it was affecting the camera when I would put it in reverse, like in selfie mode. But it is what it is. Let's get on to talking about all the wonderful things at Miss Lucille's. They have a variety of things. They have handmade items. They have boutique items. They have thrifted items, antiques, just a huge variety. And it was it's a very large store. So it did take us a few hours to go through it. But it was just so fun. We loved every minute of it. And I'm going to show you some of the fun things that we saw. We started off on the far right side of the building. It would be impossible to show you everything in this store, but I'll show you some of the favorites. I really loved all of the plants that they had at this booth. It's called Pups, Plants, and Goods. They had snake plants, ZZ plants, pothos, just a variety of stuff, along with some other like vintage items as well. These little cups here were really cute. I've seen some like this before, but I don't remember where. Seems like I saw them in some of these vlogs. I'm trying to get my friend to get some plants for her house since I can't have any at mine anymore. <laughs> I'll come visit your plants. Oh, okay, you come visit my plants. I'll let you come water my plants for me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> people collect these flower frogs this one is $19 I 
I don't know if that's good or bad. I really liked this white cabinet. I didn't care for the flowers that they had. I think they were painted on. It was pricey though, $550. Well, I thought it was quite a lot. Um, I did love the doors on it, the shape of these doors. Um, it's unique and very pretty. I will say that a lot of the stuff at this, um, at Miss Lucille's is pricey. Stuff is priced more along what you would expect to see at an antique store rather than a thrift store. Now, there were some things that were priced reasonably, I thought, but for the most part, I thought things were a little on the pricey side. So, if you come here, be prepared for that. So, I've never been to this place before, and it's huge. I can't believe I've never been here. But they have, like, booths where they have stuff that they've made. They have clothing booths, and they have, like old stuff like you would find at like a thrift store or flea market so it's pretty cool if you're in the area you should stop by this was a set of ironstone dishes it was forty dollars i didn't really care for the plates and the saucers but i did think this little creamer was really cute um it says 24 pieces there were quite a few booths that had vintage dishes, and I love looking at vintage dishes, as you guys know. Some of them are ones that I had never seen before. I also really enjoy vintage doorknobs. I thought this one was really pretty. It was $29. It says circa 1880 on it, which is pretty cool. I ran across a few pieces of vintage Pyrex. This one was $15. I didn't see a whole lot of it, but I did see a few pieces at different booths. I personally liked how they have a variety of things here. It's, it's something for everybody. So if you come shopping with a friend and you guys like different things, um, like my friend and I do, <laughs> you can still enjoy shopping here together because there's so many different things to look at. We both enjoyed looking at all the different booths. They had some vintage white dishes here, some bowls and serving dishes, $20 for this bowl. I'm just used to like Goodwill prices and thrift store prices on white dishes, so I just can't bring myself to pay these prices. Um, but I still enjoyed looking at everything. I liked this little creamer. It was $17. I could get this for $2 at Goodwill. So I'm going to keep looking. I loved these little bunny napkin rings. How cute are these for Easter? They were $10 each. My friend and I were really enjoying all the music they were playing at this place. <laughs> <laughs> we be jamming. I make Kathy let me record her at the gym. <laughs> section of Miss Lucille's had a lot of interesting furniture pieces to look at. Um, a lot of refinished furniture. I know some of you are fans of that and some of you are not, but I did enjoy looking at it. This one looks like they had taken the top of a hutch and just put it on a regular table. I thought that was a neat idea. That's pretty. It's got two matching side pieces here. It says it's a French style secretary desk and it was $650. They had some really pretty light fixtures hanging here and also some pretty furniture in this booth. I really liked this little um, dresser here. I liked the bottom of it. It had the little scallops on it and I just thought this was really pretty. 
It says it was a 1960s cherry chest, $375. I thought this was a pretty little set. I thought the teapot was really pretty, especially in the little creamer. And this was, it was individually priced. This one here was $30 for the little sugar bowl. Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> Do you think you are Mr. Big Stuff? Interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. Like what? They've glued together saucers and cups and spoons to make a bird feeder. <gasps> oh. Oh yeah, those are pretty. I yeah. think I like these these ones better though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I almost dropped it, girl. Oh, no. That would have been 28 bucks out of my pocket. That's an old cup. Look at that. That's an old measuring oh, cup. Oh, that's pretty. How much is it? 28 bucks. Measuring cup. Man, that's pretty. I don't really know much about jadeite or how much it usually goes for, but this booth had a lot of it and a lot of pieces that I had never seen before. So if you're into this, you can come check it out. They had the little chicken, the little hens. Lots of little measuring cups, butter dishes, several different sets of salt and pepper shakers. Um, just lots of pretty cool little pieces. It seemed like most of them was ranging between $20 and $30. This booth was called Pedagos Antiques. At least I think that's what it's called. So if you're looking for any jadeite or any of this blue and white dishware, I think it's just transferware if I'm not mistaken. Is that what you call this? Um, but they had a ton of this as well and it was all individually priced so if you're looking for a particular piece you might find it here they had a they really did have a lot of it I really thought this was a cool little section and it was neat that they included it here in the store it's called General Joe's and they have locally sourced items like stuff from local restaurants like the biscuit mix from Loveless Cafe Goo Goo Clusters just um, stuff from different areas like around Clarksville and some around Nashville. I also liked this little area. They had some really cool signs for sale. I liked these with the little Tennessee emblem on them. Um, they were really cool. I also liked this little Amazing Grace picture. And this one here was really pretty as well. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the 
together three quarters of the shirt. <laughs> I hope they go together, so I guess you're supposed to I show like some mid yeah, no. You can do it. Come on. Oh, there you go. Oh, show a little skin. Uh -huh. A little jiggle jiggle. <laughs> no. A little wiggle wiggle. <laughs> and some jiggle jiggle. It's very pretty. I like that color. That's my color. That I'm a pink girl. I don't care for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you wear one of these bodysuit things? Sure. <laughs> Yeah. Is it me? <laughs> it's you. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I would pee myself before I got that I off. <laughs> <laughs> I pee myself before I put it on. Kind people are my kind of people. I really enjoyed hanging out with my friend and looking through all the booths. We always have a good time and laugh and just be silly together like girls do. <laughs> I really liked this Fire King dish with the lid on it. I don't really have any that has a lid, so I thought this one was really cool. Um, this one was $12. That they would get at the marketplace. <laughs> Kristen, Kristen used to go stop. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just trying to get this and you're over there pulling your pants up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so silly. So do you remember when we got these at the farmer's market? I do. I actually came across that video. I mean, that picture not too long ago. Yeah, I do. I thought this was an interesting little creamer. It was Ironstone, and this one was $12. I really liked this little pitcher. I don't know if you call this a creamer or a pitcher or what because it's a little bigger, but it's just got the prettiest shape to it. I love the handle and the little spout. They also had some other little creamers that were really pretty. One of them I really wanted to pick up and I told you guys about it on Instagram and some people were like, yeah, get it. And other people were like, that's way too much. But this one was $14 and it was Ironstone. I really wish it was cheaper because <laughs> I really liked that one. Um, the other ones were cute, but the Ironstone one was definitely my favorite. I really like brass bookends. The ducks really aren't my thing, but I would love to run up on a really cool pair of brass bookends. Um, we're nearing the end of the shop now. I like this picture here. Um, I've been looking for a tray kind of like this that I can set on my dresser and put my perfume bottles on. This one wasn't exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to keep looking till I find just the one because I have in my mind what kind that I want. So just something similar to this, but I want a round one with really pretty little legs on it. So I'll let you know if I run up on it. Get yourself a friend who dances to the beat of their own drum. Literally. <laughs> I had so many clips of her just dancing around. I'm sure people were like, what is going on with this chick? <laughs> but it does make for a fun time. Alright, so I really hope you guys enjoyed thrifting with me today at Miss Lucille's and at Goodwill. So the first thing that I found was this beautiful white... Um, fire king bowl i really love that it came with a lid i don't have any kind of dishes like this with lids so this was a great find it would make a great serving dish um, i'm gonna display it in my hutch i just think it's really pretty it's got little like waves in it and on the back it says anchor hawking fire king made in usa ovenware I don't know if you can see it or not, probably not. So if you're new to my channel, one of my favorite things to thrift is dishware. I especially love white dishware. Um, I collect some Fire King dishes, false craft dishes, and just other random things that I think are pretty. I like dishes that have scalloped edges on them. I enjoy glassware, lots of different things, and I love to display them on my hutch that you see behind me. And then I also have a small china cabinet that I re recently thrifted from the flea market. Um, I will link that video here in the right hand corner if you'd like to take a look at that. Um, but again, this is a Fire King dish and I really 
I think it was a great find. This was picked up at Miss Lucille's. Another thing that I found there while shopping with my friend was this pretty little pitcher. I really love the shape of it. It's got a very pretty shape on the handle here and the top. And it doesn't have anything on the bottom, so I don't really know anything about this one. I just thought it was really pretty. And I'm gonna put this one in my china cabinet as well. So that's all I picked up at Miss Lucille's um, as far as like dishware. I did pick up this little purse, which I think is so cute. I love the color. I've really been into green. Um, green and pink lately has been my colors of choice, but um, I really like this. I like the little tassels on it. It is a crossbody. I pretty much only use crossbody bags. I don't like carrying anything on my shoulder, um, but this one is really nice. It's got a zippered pocket here on the front and then here on the back. Inside it has a pocket and a zippered pocket. It's just deep enough to carry, you know, um, the basic things that you need. I carry my, um, my phone in here and uh, my earbuds for the gym and just some little basic things that I need instead of carrying that big purse around. I still have my purple one that I thrifted recently, but I've been, I've started carrying this one ever since I bought it because it's just more lightweight and I don't stuff it full of stuff. It seems like the bigger the bag is, the more stuff you put in it and the heavier it gets. So, um, this little one is serving me well. Okay, so um, the only other thing I picked up at Miss Lucille's was those bracelets that I showed you in the video. I don't have them on at the moment, but um, I really love those. I've really been into butterfly jewelry ever since we went to um, the Dolly Parton Resort in Pigeon Forge last fall. Now at Goodwill, I found a few things. I found this pretty little ironstone pitcher. On the bottom, it says Sterling Colonial English Ironstone. Um, usually I'm, this wouldn't be something I'm into, but, and it was really discolored at the store. So it didn't even look like it was white, but I got it home and cleaned it up and it was so much prettier when I got it home. Look at the little detail on the handle here is so pretty and the shape of the little spout here. It's got little leaves around the bottom of it. Very pretty, and at first I was just gonna get the pitcher, but then I found they had two little um, cups that matched, so I picked those up too. And the cups were 59 cents each, which is so, so good for some ironstone little cups. And then the little creamer here was $1.99, so what a great deal for some ironstone. How pretty. I love them. Now, when I was at Miss Lucille's, I did see a whole set of these dishes. And I actually wasn't a fan of the rest of the collection. I didn't really care for the plates and stuff. I just really like these three pieces. So <laughs> I'm glad that I found them at Goodwill for a really great price. Sometimes Goodwill can be pricey these days. So um, when you find something that's a really good deal, it's an extra special treat. <laughs> And the other things that I found at Goodwill are actually some clothing items. I don't go through the clothing very often, but I really needed some new pants to wear to, um, to the gym, some workout pants. And I actually found three pair. And these are the, let's see, BCG brand. And I know they sell that at Academy because I've gotten some pants some um, like leggings and stuff there. And that's actually my favorite place to get leggings. I really love them. They hold up well. Um, they're super comfy. These are actually Capri length. So this will be good because it's gonna be getting hot before long, hopefully. <laughs> and it has a nice little band around the waist, if you can see here which is good because when you're at the gym on the treadmill and stuff, it holds in all the things, things aren't spilling over. <laughs> um, that's very important to a girl. And then I also got another pair that's pretty much the same, only they're black and white instead of the blue and black. Let's see, so it has the little band in it. And I'm super excited to say that I have dropped a size already in my pants. So I was actually able to get a pant size smaller. And let me tell you, 
This girl was happy when she went in the dressing room and tried these on. <laughs> Some of the pair that I found were actually um, had the tag color of the week and when it has that color, um, they're half off. So I think they were regularly, I wanted to say six forty nine. It's six something pants are now, which is, well, we won't even get into that. <laughs> they didn't used to be that much. Um, but when I can get them half off, it's still a great deal. So I got these pants. They're the Yogalicious Lux. I've never heard of that brand before. And I really like these because they have the side pockets where you can put your cell phone or whatever in there. And it has one on each side. So I really like that. Um, so I'll probably be wearing these to the gym tomorrow. And then I did pick up a few sweaters. I actually got this one that I have on. It's got two pockets here on the front. It's like a waffle weave is that what you call it texture on it and i really like this one the sweaters are five dollars and change i'm sorry i should really know the exact price but i don't <laughs> and then i picked up this pink one i wear a lot of pink clothes pinks and corals are my favorite but i thought this was really pretty so it has the little strings on it with a little hood it's kind of got like a v-neck and it's a really soft material. You see that? I love it. It's so cozy. And this is originally from Maurice's. So, you know, their sweaters are kind of pricey. So, I got a really good deal on this one. And I picked up this little sleep shirt. This says cuddles and coffee on it. And this is super comfy as well. This one is from Secret Treasure Sleepwear Essentials. It's super soft. All right, so that's my clothing haul and my Goodwill haul. Um, I did also get a pair of sleep pants that are really cozy. I love them so much, but they're still drying. Um, I hung them up to dry because I didn't want them to shrink. And that's it for my thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I found some good things. If you're new here, then I'll just tell you that we live in a small home. It's two bedroom and one bath, um, less than 800 square feet. So I try to be careful about how much stuff that I bring in and make sure that when I bring stuff in, I also take stuff out. I've been decluttering here recently. Also, we just recently got a storage shed, so I'm able to store some stuff out there as well. But, um, yeah, I try to only bring home things that I love, and I love everything that I brought home this time. So, thanks so much for going thrifting with me. I just wanted to show you guys where I stuck these new thrift finds. I put them inside my new china cabinet, and I'm very happy with how they look there. We're off today for eye number two. How excited are you? I am excited. I'm going to be able to see with both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right now it's kind of weird. One's one pretty eye. clear and one ain't. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get going. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> he got a little nervous once we got there and was feeling a little sick at his stomach and queasy, but he was still excited to get the surgery done. Timmy said the first thing he wants to do when he gets out of here is go find him some new sunglasses. You can wear regular sunglasses. Mm -hmm. You're excited about that, huh? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> All right, he just had his second cataract surgery. Everything went well. They said he moved around quite a bit, so it was a little difficult, but um, everything went good. So, pulling the car around to pick him up. Taste of the South for lunch. He's always worried about them. <laughs> That's to the left. Takes him. Just excited. He got it over with. So, how'd it go? Went good. Went good? Over quick. Yeah? You had trouble laying still again? Mm hmm. Yeah. I was going to move my legs. Mm -hmm. My legs. Did it all went, <laughs> but it all went okay. Mm -hmm. He's just worried about where he's gonna go eat breakfast. <laughs> he was talking to the nurse, the nurse, um, the lady that pushed him out was like, he's wanting to know somewhere good to eat. I told him down the road, there's a, a Katie's restaurant or something, mm -hmm. so she said. 
All right, here we go. Excuse me. So it is Wednesday and it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm waiting on my friend to get here so we can go to the gym. I'm so proud of us that we have stuck with it. And I have to say that I am enjoying it so much. I mean, some days it's exhausting <laughs> and I walk out of there and I feel like I'm just been beat. But um, then other days I come out and I'm so pumped and excited and I don't know. It just depends on my energy level that day, I guess. I know Monday I come out of here, like, I was so worked up and pumped the whole, almost the whole um, time we were there. It's just been a really great experience here, and I'm so thankful that um, we joined and that I have my friend here to do it with me. She motivates me so much. Kavi, I don't know if you watch or watching this, but if you are, I just love you and I'm so thankful for you because you're a great friend to do this with me and you always encourage me and when I'm tired and I'm like, I don't think I can do like the whole set that we're supposed to be doing, she'll be like, you can do it. Come on. And then there's times when I'm doing the same for her. So we really motivate each other and um it's just really great i'm very thankful for her how you feeling about the gym pretty well at the moment <laughs> oh my gosh i look like i've been in a shower i'm just a little bit dewy i tell you what we worked out hard today i don't think we worked out as hard as we did wednesday like wednesday I don't know what it was, but I was hardcore on Wednesday. But we still worked out hard today, too. But anyway, um, let me roll this window down. <sighs> it was a really busy week around here with surgery and doctor's appointments and just different things going on. Um, but another thing that we did was went to a benefit for a friend of ours. Her brother had unfortunately passed away very unexpectedly and they were raising money for his funeral expenses and they asked Timmy to come and sing. They had several people that were there singing gospel music. And this is something that Timmy used to do quite frequently um, back before he had his heart attack and his health problems that he has now. And it was really good for him. I was really proud of him. He did a great job. He did three songs. I tried to record them, but it was at a restaurant, so there was a lot of noise in the background. Um, I'll share a little bit of a clip of one of his songs, but you can hear in the background the sound quality just isn't that great. <laughs> Timmy really enjoyed himself. He had a good time being out around his friends. This guy here, he's been friends with since they were teenagers. And I know he had fun catching up. Hey friends, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would have purchased that you saw during the thrifting portion and what your favorite thing is that I picked up in my thrift haul. I try to post every Sunday. Sometimes there's a little hiccup like there was last week, but for the most part, I do share videos on Sundays. So I hope you will come back and visit with us again. I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye.